guys, it's Miss Randall. Um, I miss you guys so much and um, I can't wait to see you again. But for now, we're going to do these virtual lessons. Um, today, we're going to work on what's called a one line drawing. So a one line drawing is when you take your pencil on a piece of paper or any writing utensil and you just you draw the outline of what you're looking at or anything and you don't pick your pencil off of the paper you keep going if you pick your pencil up by mistake that's okay just try and put it back down to where you took it off and keep going and it's you go around like if say if I were to be looking at myself right now and I would go around my eye and around this way down here my nose and around my head here it's kind of fun to do it with the video but it's hard and then your eye like this. It's a one line drawing. So we're gonna do what's a portrait. And a portrait is a painting, a um, photograph, or a drawing, or any kind of art piece of yourself. Well, a self portrait. But you could do, you can either do yourself. I'd like you to do yourself, and I'd like you to do a family member. Okay, um, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, and there's a couple videos that I sent to your teachers on a Google Doc too, so you can go to them. Uh, the artist is called Salventius, and he's a really cool one-line drawer, and he takes these big markers and stuff. So check that out, and I'll show you how to do this uh, right now. Okay, so I have my paper. There's two different ways that you can orient your paper, um, but for this purpose, we're making a portrait, which is a picture of um, our someone's face or person and this is the portrait orientation as opposed to this would be sideways and this is landscape so landscape portrait landscape portrait so we're doing a portrait um, and you should have a mirror or a family member in front of you I want you to actually try do yourself first so you are going to look into yourself in the mirror and you're going to pick up where you're going to start I'm starting where my eye is on the left so I'm looking in my eye, my, my eyes are moving around and I'm not taking my, my pencil off the paper. I'm like looking here. I have looking at my mirror, my nostrils coming around, my nostrils coming around. And then I'm coming over here. I have an eyebrow here and then I'm coming down and I'm mostly looking at myself in the mirror because that's what I'm drawing. I'm not, if I'm not looking at myself, then I'm not drawing myself. I'm drawing something that is in my head and not what I see. It's what I think I see. And I'm doing my chin here. I'm coming around. Ooh, where am I going to go? Am I going to go to my ear or am I going to go to my mouth? I think I'm going to go to my mouth because the mouth is fun. Just looking at my lines of my my lips, doing my best here. Now I have to think about how I'm gonna cut, get from here to over here. And I'm just gonna have to draw a line because I can't take my pen off the paper. And then I'm gonna come over here and do my ear, which is kind of like this. Maybe it looks a little bigger than it should, but you know what, I'm just doing my best. And this is all just practice. So I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna do my forehead up here now. I'm gonna come around here get my other eyebrow right then come down here to where my other ear comes in but I also see my hair there and I'm thinking about I totally forgot about my hair so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna I have a like ponytail thing but I'm not sure does it have to be perfect oh definitely not okay and you have time or should have time to do as much uh, as many of these as you want and keep practicing because it's just a really fun activity and there we go <gasps> there is my one line drawing so you guys can get your paper and your pen and your mirror and you guys start yours so I hope you guys made a lot of one line drawings because it's actually so much fun and you can do it like with anything if you want to draw like your cat if you want to draw you know the house outside and if you even want to challenge yourself even more you guys can do a blind one which means you don't look at the paper at all and sometimes doing that you can just get a piece of paper 
which I don't have right now, but you just stab your piece of paper. I can do it like this. With your pencil, like that. And then you draw so you can't look at it because the paper is covering your other paper on the bottom. So it's like, you can't look there. You can't cheat if you really want to play the game right. That's if you, you want to do a blind one, not looking, regular one. You want of your family, one of your one of yourself for sure. That's the number one. And you can like uh, color it or do whatever you want to. Um, and then you can share it with a friend or um, maybe we're going to do group conference where I can take a look at what you've done and we can talk about it. Um, either way, I miss you guys so much. Um, I'll see you again next week and uh, stay safe and healthy.